You don't have a teaspoon out, do you? I do. do want, I'll just use that same one. Never mind. Well, this, this one's got a, cinnamon in it. That's, that's a half. why I'll I just do it twice. That one, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. In the morning, half cup. Let's see. That's a third. What was I going to do? You got the half cup over here. Yeah, yep. that's that's for my cup. sugar. And then there's the one, the flour, <laughs> and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Do what? We're not supposed to be oh. talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We can't be quiet. <laughs> I didn't know you was rolling together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking to myself, I guess. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to try to give a little inside view. Just turn it on a few minutes early, and then we hadn't planned on talking. Okay, I was trying to find a platter to put some of these on. When we cut them, we may not can even get what, them. What, the, the bars? And a platter. Yeah. Uh, well, um, can I help you? I knew when I put these in there, they weren't going to stay. So the other day, I'm, I, That's deep to me. <laughs> I cleaned out this I'll cabinet, this out. Mary. Do what? The other day, I cleaned out the cabinet yeah. underneath here so I could put that new cookware in there. Yeah. So what does Mike come in here and do? He erased it. <laughs> Give me a towel, please. Hand me that towel. Is that, that the drying towel? Get a towel clean there? one. Get oh, a clean okay. one over there. It's okay. in the drawers. There by Carla, Mary. So he piles all this stuff in the cabinet after I'd already oh, no. cleaned it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said, well, those will look better <laughs> So I'll just put the platter here give up. Until, you, until you get ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get some water. I think I turned my phone off. Sixty seconds. Okay, let me. Okay, wash my hands one yeah, more time. Clock scored off. <laughs> I'm gonna rewash my hands too. I just washed them, but I, when I sit down, I think, oops, I need to wash my hands. Mike has stopped up and my nose Allergies. runs constantly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't want to get your computer wet, Carl. <laughs> my lips have just driven me crazy. <coughs> Ever since they did that surgery, it's like your lip? Yes. I'm they sorry. just they're not right. Yeah. It'll probably take you a long time, Linda, for it to completely get, okay? She told me yesterday at the dermatologist when she took these stitches out, she said, now in about three weeks you can start massaging that. Oh. And I thought to myself, <laughs> I can't even touch my face and it's been yeah, over three yeah, weeks. Yeah. It's going to take a long time. But, you, but it looks, you're doing it good. looks good you're though, doing don't good. it? Yes, yes. It Compared. Good. Yes. All yes. right, ladies. Right. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Linda. I'm Mary. Pinky Mo sisters in the kitchen and welcome. Y'all may have seen us juning around here a little bit and we were The gonna, camera started rolling before. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna let it roll. The plan was so everyone would get their notifications and y'all would know we're on and we wasn't supposed to talk. <laughs> It you doesn't know work out too well with me and Mary. <laughs> I was reading the instructions and all that, and Linda says, shh. <laughs> I didn't know we were on. Oh, my goodness. So, um, anyway, we are making something. I always love at the end of the summer when, um, when the harvest comes in, and you remember uh, the old UPC before it went to UPCI, I think, wasn't mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm. They had a broadcast on the radio on Sunday morning. Wasn't it mm -hmm. Sunday morning? Yeah, I think it was. was it Nathaniel Urshan or was it, who was it that did the broadcast? Now I should know that and I don't. But we listened to the broadcast remember. while we yeah. were getting ready for yeah. Sunday school. Yeah. And they, did they close or open with harvest time? I know some of our viewers are going to know this. I can just barely even remember it, Linda. So I'm sorry. I, I always think of that song, Harvest Time. And so this, what we're making today is orchard bars and um so uh did i do something wrong y'all 
No, I had a funny, inappropriate story oh, okay. about harvest time. Okay. That I was telling Cora. Okay. Sorry. I just want to make sure that I wasn't doing something wrong. Um, so I always think about the end of the summer. And, and it's the close of a season, yeah. and then you're starting the fall season. And by the way, I love fall, y'all. I do too. I do I'm, too. I've been counting the days and the maybe not the hours yet, but I'm counting the days till we get some cooler weather. And we have got a little break. It has been, a, yes. and got a little bit I of rain. Thank yes. God for that. Yes. But um, um, anyway, I think about that song, and when I. When I did this recipe, it reminded me of harvest time and that song because yeah. you're bringing in the harvest, you're getting ready for the winter, and of course things are different now than they were years ago when people really did have to put up for the winter. Right, right. And we're very fortunate that you know most of the time we can go to the grocery store and get what we right, want, right. Um, or at least they have what we want. Mm -hmm. We might not always get exactly yeah. what we want, yeah. but there's a selection there. Yeah. So anyway, so. Um, there's a, uh, a couple of parts to this, and um, I already made one this morning, and I will tell y'all right off the bat that this is a very sweet treat. So it's rich, and um, you'll probably want to do small squares instead of bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. And it has to, there's several steps that you have to cool. When you make your peaches, they've got to cool. And... I know this is not ideal, but I'm going to tell y'all how I did this, and then we'll move on to the uh, to the next step. So there's basically three steps in this, or four, four different sections. But ne neither one of them, or none of them are really hard. But um, with any type of baking, it just takes time to do mm -hmm. it. So um, I had some peaches in the freezer that I got at Panola. And I was going to use Jamie's that right. brought that brought them to me yeah. from Texarkana for yeah. my birthday. But Jamie, I'll use yours later. Uh, this was a bag left over from last year, so I wanted to use these first. So um, this is actually it's a little over three cups. We may not use quite all of them, but um, these are fresh peaches. And the way I put them up is after they're peeled. Um, either me or Mike will peel them and get them ready. Then I. I put sugar on them. I do too. So um, uh, you do not have to do that. Not I don't know if everybody does it like that, but that's the way we've done it. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't add any sugar to these peaches, but you do need to thicken them a little bit. And the reason you do, and in the for our members, uh, we on have the told recipe, them what we're cooking. Did I you? did orchard I, bars. I, missed it. I think I did. You may have orchard bars. Um, <laughs> you want to thicken it a little bit and. I, don't, I didn't want to lose this good peach juice, mm -hmm. so instead of draining, um, if you're using canned peaches, you need to drain the juice off of them, or if you want to use the juice, you want to increase your cornstarch probably by a tablespoon. So I did increase my cornstarch because I did not want to lose that good juice in here. Yeah. So um, I just brought these to a bowl. It doesn't take long at all to cook peaches. You know, they're soft fruit. Now, if you get fresh and from the grocery store and they're hard as a brick, then you are gonna need to cook them a little bit longer. But for the fresh peaches that are ripe to start with, you don't, you just bring them to a bowl. I added a little bit of salt to them because you always add salt to fresh fruit. And I mixed up three tablespoons full of cornstarch uh, with about, probably about four tablespoons of water. I don't measure it, but you can tell it has to be has it's to like be a, pay, um, yeah, a little th thinner than paste. Thinner but. than a paste, but not water thin. Yeah. And uh, you want to mix that up real good. Now, if you let this set, it will it will solidify, <laughs> it will and it will go back to powder, and it's yeah. very hard to get out. So, um, and you always always mix cornstarch with cold water. You, if you mix it with hot, it's going to clump. So the other thing, after you bring these to a bowl, put your little bit of uh, salt in there. And I, when I say little, I probably put maybe an eighth a teaspoon, just a little sprinkle of salt. And then after it comes to a bowl, then the next really important thing, and I know probably half of y'all are laughing at the way I say bowl, but it's bowl, B-O-I-L. Um, you want to stream this in. And I used our little... Um, can, can you mean? hand me that little uh, small I get prep bowl? This? Yes. So I use this. I've got butter in it now. 
so it's not the, I, you know, it's been washed. It doesn't have cornstarch and butter. But I use this to mix it up with, with our little mini um, whip, I mean, with our little mini uh, whisk. And I, you want to stream it in with one hand while stirring with the other. If you pour it all in and then stir, you're going to have a big mess. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to clump up. Yes. <laughs> so you need two hands for this. If you... Um, uh, and not judging because a lot of people have trouble with their hands, especially uh, some of us older people. If you can't use both of your hands, then you need someone to pour it in for you while you stir it or vice versa. So just don't pour it all in at once. And what I like about these bowls, you can squeeze you can them do, a little bit. Yeah, you could also do kind of like tempering. You could take a little bit of your hot, put it in a separate little bowl, and just pour a little bit of that in there. That way you're not, not if you make a mistake... Would not, I've never done it. You like never done that. that? Okay. No. Okay. Well, it, then it probably would work for you, but I'd be scared. <laughs> okay. I'd be scared to try it. Okay. Mary's Mary's a little more brave than I am. So if you got this bowl or one that will bend, you can you can just kind of squeeze it and stir and stream it in and stir. Yeah. Now I will tell you something else. You want to kind of uh, make sure that you've got what you in, you want in there at first because it's a lot trickier to go back and add to it. Mm -hmm. So. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, if you're using juice, and enough water to make a um, kind of not a paste, but not water thin. You, it almost like a glue consistency, yeah. like yeah. Elmer's glue. Right, right. About yes. that consistency. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to set that over there, and we're going to need that in a minute. Yeah. Um, so, and then you want to take this out of your boiler. And because it doesn't take long, once it's bubbling and boiling and you stream this in, it's all you're basically doing is stirring it. And when it gets cool, it thickens. Yes, yes, it will it thicken. It will thicken when it gets cold. So, now this is not as thick as I would get it if I was making fried pies. Right. But for this, this is what I want. Now, you can chop your peaches up before you put them in there. If they're canned peaches, you need to chop them. Chop them in small pieces. If you are using fresh peaches, I just use the mix and chop and just just did it that way. Because if you if you try to cut these, they're going to tear all the pieces yeah. and it's going to be a puree, not peaches. Right. 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 So uh, you want, you know, you want a little bit of consistency. OK. And then you want to take them out and cool them completely. And if you want to cool something, there's two good ways to cool it. You can pour it in a shallow pan to cool like I do the filling for fried okay. pies. Mm -hmm. Or you can, um, um, what else was I going to say? I forgot what I, I was going I to say. I put it in the refrigerator in a different, separate bowl. Yeah, take it, take Don't you cool can put it in, in the, the bowl that you're cooking it with no. because it takes it too long to cool. So pour it out of the Empty. container and right. put it in something else, in a shallow bowl or something. Uh, sometimes, I, this is what I was going to say, sometimes Mike will set one of those flexible ice packs that you use on your neck. Mm -hmm. He'll put that out and set a bowl on top, on top of top it, of and that, or a tray, and that helps yeah. cool it too. Yeah. Okay, so um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do the crumb mixture, and okay. it's kind of like, I don't know, what is that, what is the recipe that's called like a apple crumb um, where you have the oatmeal, oatmeal for crunch. the top, yeah, yeah something like yeah. that. But uh, but this is made with peach, and it's also going to have a little surprise in it. So um, we're going to um, we're using imperial brown sugar, and I'm going to do my butter, uh, cream my butter and sugar, and also for our um, members that see this recipe on your page, um, I am using a whole stick of butter and. I didn't put a whole stick in the recipe. I think I put two thirds, of, two thirds of, not stick, two thirds a cup. But I'm using uh, one stick. Actually, it's not a cup. It's one stick. I need one some. stick is a half a cup, right? Yeah, it is. Would you want me some paper towel, towel, Mary? I didn't even get a dishcloth over here to wash my hands off with. Thank you. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna um, add this. Go ahead and add the. Um, you want to, uh, what do you want, flour in there? Or, or, no, no I'm going, yeah, there. I'm just going to do this with the sugar and butter first. Okay. It, it won't take long to cream it. Okay. And I'm going to cream this. I didn't get quite enough in there. You want a half a cup, a packed cup. Anytime you're using brown sugar, most of the time it's going to tell you to pack it firmly. Right. And this, this is that way too. So, let's stick it in here. Okay. 
I don't have a battery in. <laughs> would help. Would it? <laughs> it would help. Okay, so that's a half a cup, packed cup, firmly packed cup of Imperial Brown Sugar and one stick of softened butter. And then we're going to get our flour and salt, baking soda and cinnamon. And we're going to add it to this mixture. That's a cup. Okay. I'm going to give me your half a cup there. Yes. So this is another half a cup. So okay. you got one and a half cups of yeah. flour. And I'll take my cinnamon and salt and baking soda. Mm -hmm. This is a half a teaspoon of baking soda. one teaspoon of salt. Now this is crumbly, kind of making a mess here. Um, and this is the cinnamon. Okay. And I'll let you put that in there, Mary. Okay. I'm going to get some gloves because I'm going to mix this with okay. my hands. And I'm putting two teaspoons of cinnamon. Make sure I get that right. Yeah. I'm about to run out of. <laughs> yeah, I got to get me another jar out. Yeah, uh, I was almost my time. Cinnamon. Yeah, it's almost time. Are you for getting low? Uh, I'm not getting low. Are you? Are you getting low on your? I don't stock? have as much cinnamon as I do c cinnamon plus. Cinnamon plus Whoa, that yeah. one tore, tore completely so, up. Now, do you just beat this some more here, Linda? Yeah, you can go ahead and beat it. So, it smells good. That cinnamon is really good cinnamon, and. Um, It'll be back in stock when uh, the holidays come up again. We'll have, um, you'll have opportunity to buy some more. And, um, smells good. I All right, now, is there anything else that I need to, uh, the oats? Where do you yeah, put the I'm oats gonna in there I'm going to mix this up with my hands. I oh, went in okay. there earlier to get these You're gloves. trying to get that butter to, uh, yeah. to incorporate. And then you take one and three-fourths of cups of yeah. oats. Okay. One and three-fourths. And these are old-fashioned oats. And here that, that thing is real full because I put okay. a little bit. The lid to this. What do we do with the lid? It's right here. Oh. It's clear. It's, I didn't even see it. It's clear. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the color of the container. Okay. It does smell good. That cinnamon So smells. you did buy one of these big big ones yeah I had a little bit um, left over from um, but I bought a new one because I knew that yeah. wasn't gonna be enough yeah so this is one and three-fourths cup of oats. one I mean that's three-fourths and my cup if I'll take the, is that okay to use this one yeah the flyer one. so that's one and three-fourths cup I love almost anything that's got oatmeal in it. Yeah, I do too. That's good. I, I don't want, I've got I a don't recipe want. for um, some granola. I'm going to make granola one day. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I think we made that one time. I think I made one, but yours is you? probably different from mine. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't. I don't remember you making it. Uh, There's so many different recipes. Yeah, it is. There's lots stuff. of ways you can make granola. Okay, so y'all see this is very crumbly and that's the way it's supposed to be. So don't fret over that. So now we're going to, um, we're going, I've got a big piece of foil. I need that butter melted, Mary. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll melt the butter. If you don't mind, please. No. I'm just making a bigger mess than 
I was trying to clean up a little bit and make it a bigger mess well, than I was. Well, I was going to take maybe some of that away, but I didn't know what else she was going to be needing of it, so. Okay, so I've got a really big piece of foil. This is a 9 by 13 pan. And um, you want it big enough. I might have got this a, a little bit too big. Is this to put on the pot foil? We're going to, yeah, we're oh, going to do it. Because it didn't quite melt, but it's almost. I That's think okay. it's good enough. I think my pastry brush is over there. You want to have enough left in your foil to be able to pick it up. Now, if if your house is like mine, you have good foil and you have cheap foil. I'm going to have to sit down. My back okay, is not you ready cooperating for me to, this morning. You ready yeah. for me to... to so we're just going to brush the slightly. That was about a teaspoon, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, brush the sides, sides too, too, Mary, if you will. Because when you get this out of the oven, after it cools a little bit in the pan, you want to pick it up. I want to make sure it got up on all the sides. I don't know how far up it goes. It's not real thick, okay. but it does go up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Does that look like okay, I've that got looks good? Yeah. Buttered enough. Now, if you will heat those peach preserves for me. Okay. Um, the lid's off, right? Yes. Um, we're gonna heat the uh, peach preserves, and it's a can, a jar of Smuckers. Uh, if you have homemade ones, you can use homemade ones. I didn't, so I bought some. And I think it's a 12 ounce jar, but I may be wrong, so we'll have to look at that when it gets back over here. And um, we're heating it so it will spread good. So I want three cups of this crumble mixture that I'm gonna put in the bottom of the pan. And the rest of it you're gonna use for the top. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spread it out, three cups. We're just going to save that, and then I'm going to spread it out and press it down in the pan. And when you're baking, it seems like the corners always are the ones that get cheated. So you want to make sure that your corners have enough, whatever it is. If it's a, um, a cake that you're making or a cobbler, you want to make sure that your corners have plenty of um, good stuff in them so you don't... The people that get the corners don't get slided. Now, Linda, look at this. Is this, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> is this good enough? Is it hot? No, it, it ain't hot? hot. No, it ain't okay. hot. Okay. So I didn't know if it, how thick. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, well, we're just going to set this aside. How many ounces is that? Let's look and see. 18. Okay, so that's more than 12 ounces. Yeah. Okay, so um, we got this in the bottom, and then... Let's see. Now we're going to put the preserves. The preserves go on the crust. And it said the recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup. But when I did this this morning, three-fourths of a cup, it just didn't cover the bottom. So I pretty much used this whole jar. And is my bowl scraper, is it over there somewhere or did I put it in the sink? I don't see it. Do you want another? You got, have you got another in here? Or I'll it's walk. right there, that, right there in that plate, Mary. Oh, it sure is, isn't it? <laughs> I just moved it. See, if you see this right here, to me, that's just not, that's just not quite enough. I don't think. So I'm going to use the whole jar. So if you want, you can go straight by the recipe, or either you can do like Depending me. Depending on how much you want. And do in the whole there. jar. Just make a thicker cookie if you have put more on yeah. it, right? And it's going to take a little longer to cool because we're putting more on it. But to me, it just... Now, it do just, you wash your jars and you use know, them for something throwing else? Throwing them away. Just don't throw my spatula away. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of spread this out. My back is giving me fits oh, this I'm morning. Sorry. I'm having back spasms. Do you want it. me to use to get the spatula and help you spread that? No, I think I've. You got it. So make sure there's some in the Around corners. The corners yeah. yeah. Okay. 
I'm just used to standing more than I am sitting. I, I'm not. I cannot stand very long, and especially if my back is. Yeah. I think because I've sit so much this yeah. last two or three weeks, yeah. I think it's got my back in a little bit of um, tizzy or something. I don't know. Okay, now, you think I got it close enough to the edges? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so now over that, now this was the preserves, and over that, um, I see a mistake I made in my wording on my recipe. Um, we're going to put the um, the peach, this over that. Over, over yeah. the peach preserves. Yeah. So and this is your peach filling yeah. over the peach preserves. The peach preserves has a little more of a tang, isn't that right, than the peaches? They probably do because I didn't make it. If I'd have yeah. made it, it wouldn't have. Yeah, I know, but I, I think the peach preserves has a little bit of a tang. Okay, now we're going to spread this out. You can get that in, Mary. And I'm not using quite all of these. I had a little more than three cups. Yeah, that's almost like a peach cobbler, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It little, looks good. A little bit more in that corner there. Okay. And you put half of the crumble in the bottom, right? I put, no, I put I'll three put cups. Three cups, okay. Okay, would you hand me my strawberry preserves? Mm -hmm. Now, have I heated them? Do you want them heated? No, I don't want those heated. So I didn't measure this, even though on the recipe it said a half a cup. I'm just doing, you don't want to spread these. You just want dots, little dots. Okay. Well, it's coming out of the spoon pretty good. I was going to yeah. help you get me out of the spoon. It stuck. The strawberry smells good. This, those peaches, it makes me think of fried pies. Man, it does we've me done too. so many fried pies before, making those, uh, making that peach filling. And used to, I would use a potato masher to uh, mash the uh, peaches. Did you? That's what I do. When, when I'm cooking them, they get soft. I just take a potato masher and mash it, and it would, it would uh, make um, pieces, make it, you know, cut it into pieces. Now, if you wanted to put some down the middle, you could, but I've got probably a little bit more peach in here, so okay. I'm not going to put, I'm just going to do the two rows. Okay. And we're just going to sprinkle this, um, and then we're going to just real gently press it down. I, um, i got to turn my oven on and have my oven on. 350. Okay. Bake. 350. And then hit, if you hit 350, hit bake again. That's the way our uh, Is our it? Stuff, not mine at home, but at the church. You have to hit it twice. Okay. Okay, so I think I got, can you see, did I get that pretty much I think settled? It is, yeah. And you don't want to press hard, you just want to lightly press. Can they see that, Linda? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want it to be on top. You want it right. to kind of be incorporated a little bit. And it's going to um, it's gonna cook for about 35 minutes. And uh, I actually did something this morning that the recipe didn't say to do. And since this is the first time I've actually done this recipe. I'm sorry, Mary. I was just going to um, the camera. I was just going to get a little closer. I put it, after I got through baking it, I put it on broil for oh, okay. about two to minutes brown it? to get okay. just a little bit of color okay. on the top okay. of it. So yeah. um, it you can pick it up. It's a pretty, it's yeah, a pretty it's good heavy. pan full. Yeah. So you just you got to let the oven heat up. Yeah. A little bit. And then I'll get this stuff out of the way. Yeah. And, let me uh, have that. And then we'll bring the other in here that's already done. You want me to get it for you? Let me get this out. Well, of I hate for you to be doing everything. No, you everything just sit there. there. I'll get it. So they are um, they are sweet. Um, like I said, um, you want to cut small squares unless you just got somebody that really loves sweets. Did you and want me to bring it on the on the rack? Yeah, or? I'm gonna put something under it so we can cut it. You and to it, get the pan? No, um, okay. I'm I'm gonna put a, a board or a, okay. uh, some kind of a cutter underneath. Okay, so it. you can uh, cut it with yeah. a knife. Okay. 
She does look good. And um, looks delicious. I don't know if it's going to come out um, to where we can actually pick it up in a square. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. And um, get a couple of forks out. I'm trying to think. It seemed like Mother made something like this, but it wasn't called this. Well, it, this Somebody, is a very old recipe. A very old recipe. It's, um, I, I just can't recall what it was. Do you I'll want me get, to pick this up? Yeah, you can pick it up. Just pick it up on the, on yeah. the, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll move this. I don't think we need a sharp knife, but I want this for picks. So you can somebody's see gonna it. help me remember take some picks. <laughs> <laughs> and when y'all drive off, then I'm gonna be yeah. in here. And why didn't somebody remind me to take a pick? So you can see I got a little bit of, of it out this morning, but I think I think in this once this gets cold, it will set. Yeah. But it's not set really good right now because it's um, it's still not cold. But I would say about that size. Yes. You? Yes. Absolutely. That's and, and that's a pretty large size. But if you, um, that's not too too terribly much. Now let's see if we can manage to get these out and put okay. like three right in the middle of that platter. Yeah, they're sitting. Mm -hmm. They are. I don't think you cut that through. Okay. Oh, that was a, a peach strawberry. Or, a, or strawberry or something that made it to in the corner. Kind of space them apart a little bit so it'll. I was just going to put three right down, oh, the, down center. the center. Oh, okay. All right. Now you can fix it the way you want it. Um, this is not going to be a perfect picture because they're not, it's, the platter's kind of mess, got messed up, or, but, um, but it's still, that's going to be good. Okay, well, so. Well, I can get a paper towel and wipe up. No, that's okay. The crumbs are good. That just makes it look good, right? Yeah. Okay. So, ladies, do y'all want to taste, taste a bite? I do. I snuck a piece before we started. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it, but you thought it was sweet too, right? It, it's very good, but it is sweet. <coughs> okay, I'll get another plate. I thought I got four, well, but they, I they're not three. Gonna, they're not going to taste it here on camera, so... Very good. I like it. I like that peach. It's um, it's kind of gooey, and it is sweet. But once you get a, a taste of that oatmeal crumb, mm -hmm. it kind of cuts down on the sweetness a little bit. It's it tastes a little bit like a cobbler, but it's not. Mm. It's really very very good. Thank you. It's very good, and it's uh, and it's firm enough for a square. Okay, it's really good. So I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm, okay. I got some overdue, long overdue thank yous to <laughs> yeah. do. Yeah, we forgot to um, to thank people yesterday for some of the things that they've given us, and so we're gonna make sure we get that done this morning. I'm so far behind on that. Um, I'm going to move that in the oven. Uh, yes, please. I'm going to move this out of the way just okay. so we're not sitting here breathing over it. How long? Um, 30 minutes. 35 actually. 35. I know and and I didn't bring them um a uh, Joyce from Arkansas sent um Linda and I both some chimes. And she sent me uh, hummingbirds. 
and they're solar solar uh, hummingbirds. So whenever uh, the sun hits hits the top, and then at night they glow. Little hummingbirds. They are beautiful. Um, I've got I haven't got them hung yet because. Um, uh, it's been raining, and Chuck's um, been busy, too. So I hadn't got them hung yet, uh, Joyce, but thank you so much. And then she gave, sent Linda, and she has hers to show you. Um, I had mine out yesterday to show, and then we got busy and forgot. But um, she sent Linda some angels. So these are, um, these look clear. And these are really different because they have um, a solar panel on them. So there's a switch on the bottom and you turn it mm -hmm. on and during the day it collects the energy the sun, yeah. and then at night they're all different they colors. Yeah. And here's a little hook to put them on and Mike hasn't put them up yet because I wanted to yeah. show these yeah. today. And they're I wanted beautiful. to tell something about um, Jennifer Asker sent us a set. They, she sure did. Of three, three. Yeah. crosses with scriptures right. on it. Of chimes and um, one set of them is up. I got you. yesterday, um, and it's happened two or three days. But yesterday's the first day I saw it. Uh -huh. The wind was blowing and it was blowing the chimes. Mm -hmm. And y'all, it was the most beautiful it sight. Is, Do you it? know what it did? Mm -mm. It put the cross on the window. Oh, uh, but it the, was the gorgeous. Reflection, the reflection. It was, I know it was, it was while it was blowing. The cross oh. was on the wind, and it it was almost oh, wow. like a oh. it was like a sign. It was just oh. so beautiful. So um, we have gotten, I have gotten um, cards from. you got so about many over places. 200 I've cards. probably got about two hundred, and um, we've got I've got cards from Canada, from South Wales, from Ireland, from. Um, all over the United States. I didn't divide them by state because that wasn't necessary. I looked at each one of them and yeah. where they were from and of course read them. But uh, thank you all all so very much. Um, you showed these yesterday, didn't you? No. Mm -mm. No. Okay. You just brought it to me yesterday. This is from, um, um, no, that's, that's from somebody else. Let's see. Okay, uh, wait a minute. I've got it written down. Where's my sheet of paper? Was that from Gordon? Gor okay. Uh, the black Gordon's? and white check is from a lady in Purcell, Oklahoma. Her name is uh, Jaquita okay. or Waquita. Okay. I'm not sure if the J is pronounced with a J or a Q. Um, aren't these beautiful? Beautiful. I looked at mine uh, over and over and over last night. I thought it was so beautifully done. I love the check it with the pink. Yeah, I do, I do too. too. Do you have a black and white check and tablecloth? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was yeah. going to tell you Ollie's has them. Yeah, I do have one. I, have I don't, two. but they don't have my size, so yeah. I'm, I'll just use my red well, and black one. Well, I'll check and one. see if the sizes I got. I'm almost sure I got two. I may have one that you can have. So thank you, Juanita, for that. Um, let's see. These little um, cards here came from... Um, did I put this on here? I thought I put everything on here. Gift cards, yes, from Linda in uh, Drums, Pennsylvania. And the sweet friend made these for us. She made me a package mm -hmm. and Mary a package. And they're Aren't gift card cute? holders. They are so cute. And they're all personalized. They have the little Velcro, little Velcro dots no, on no, the back. I Aren't know. they adorable? They are. <laughs> so she's got happy birthday. They're, that's a little panda, a butterfly. Celebrate a little lamb. You are my sunshine, a Christmas one. Noel, isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful one. And that's another Christmas one. And this is another Christmas one. You can give that one to me for Christmas. Actually, there's several <laughs> Christmas ones. Yeah, Christmas so is coming up. This is kind of, yeah. yeah, this is this really would be nice. something nice to put gift cards yeah. in. Thank you so much, um, yes. Linda, for, uh, for your very nice thoughtfulness yes. and sending those. We know, because our mother did crafts, it not only takes time to do it, you spend a lot yeah, of money yes, doing these. Do. More money than you, think, you realize. <laughs> Mama would sell stuff so she could go buy yeah, stuff to make she something would. when she wanted to do it. She'd have her garage sale. She absolutely and that's would. how she, that's how she did this. Sell anything in her house. To get, I mean, seriously. Our, our things that we would want. Cut something up to make yeah, something. Yeah. So um, I'm going to check these off while I go so I don't miss somebody. Um, okay, we got that. We got that. And then the blue cup towels, um, Betty from Waterloo, Illinois sent us. 
It's raining, y'all. Is it? Yes. We've gotten a lot of rain lately. Aren't these beautiful? The grass has grown. The, I love it. Very, those. very nice cup towels. Thank those. you. Um, I, they're so thank nice. Thank you, Betty, for thick. sending those. And then, um, let's see. Uh, we got, I want to show this in a second. but And then Carla. Um, Jordan, is that her name? No, her, oh, her name sorry. is Carla, but she's from oh, okay. Cape Girardeau, oh, okay. um, Missouri. Um, she had these uh, cup towels made for us. Count your blessings, name them one by one, yes, which is um, kind of our mantra in a song that our mama used to sing so much. Yeah. I could just hear her in the kitchen now singing, count your blessings, yeah. name them one by one. So thank you, Carla, for sending that. And also, she sent us... Um, uh, each one and she sent us each a bar of I believe it was cherry soap. almond soap soap yes yeah, a nice um, soap um she has sensitive skin and she knows that you mm -hmm. know that I do too and right. so she sent us a bar each of that and we're really excited to to uh, use that soap so thank you very much Carla I want to read part of the letter now she did tell me that we could you know feel free to use this if we wanted to or not so I'm not going to read the entire letter, but it touched me so much um, that she wrote this. And if y'all remember, Carla had a health scare mm -hmm. not too long mm -hmm. ago, not too many weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And we, I think we asked everybody to pray mm -hmm. for her. So she said, Dear Mary and Linda, I stopped in my tracks to write this after watching Mary's heart. This is right after my first surgery. Mm -hmm. um, or not the first one, but this yeah. one. After watching Mary's heartfelt messages regarding um, the outcome of Linda's surgery, the authentic love and support that all of us are fortunate to observe between you two sisters is a blessing and a bolt of light for me. And it just, and she wrote, so she wrote a lot more, but that was, that so, was so sweet. sweet. And I don't want anyone to think if I'm not reading your card or we're not reading it out loud that it did not mean right. something to us. Mary, a lot of, a lot of our friends and viewers, some of them are probably ninety, close mm -hmm. to ninety, or, um, and and they have written the most beautiful, um, little I, notes to me. Right. I don't. I'm like you. I don't read out the notes that that you all sent us, but. I keep those notes, and ever so often I will pick up one and reread it, and it just it just melts my heart uh, because y'all are so loving and kind to us. Um, y'all say that we've been a blessing to y'all. You have been a blessing to us. You got to read it like Polly. Is, was it Polly? Oh, it was Pinky Paul. Pinky Paul. Pinky Paul. Uh, <laughs> when, when we were when we were doing this this morning, um, I told him how I. I asked them, did they mind me reading it? <laughs> a lot of people don't like to be read to adults. Um, you know, um, so I told them, I said, I always think about Pinkie Paul when I'm reading something out loud. And Pinkie Paul was, you know, of course, Pinkie Paul's husband. It was our daddy's parents. And he would read like, and he could read. He yes, was not yeah. illiterate. Yeah. He could read and he would say, I S-T-O-P-P-E-D stopped. In my T R A C K S tracks. That's how Pinky Paul would read. Yeah. It was so, I could just see him yeah. sitting reading the newspaper. Yeah. Can, do you yeah, remember I, that? Yes, I do. And Raymond, you know, our cousin uh, visited with us yesterday. Randy. Randy, Randy I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's his brother. Randy um, visited with us and uh, for several hours. And we talked about Pinky Ma and Pinky Paul and, and Ma and Paul and we just had a wonderful visit with him and he just reminded me of different things, you know, that uh, we said and done. And, and he liked my casserole, y'all. Yeah, I knew he would. Did he say anything about it not having cheese No, in it? but he was glad. He was glad I didn't put cheese in it. He wouldn't have eaten Did you it. tell him I told you? He had two, yeah. He had two <laughs> servings. He had, he had two servings of did, it, so. Did, do you know why he doesn't like cheese? My guess is they didn't have it growing up, and he just never. Why? Do you know? They they said Aunt Elsie didn't like cheese. Oh, okay. And so she never put it on stuff. Yeah. Well, I know that their their menu was very limited yes. growing up, like yes. a lot of our cousins yes, were. It was. And I don't say that bragging because we did have a lot more of a variety of yeah, food we did. because Pinkie Paul grew food, right? And we always had a right. big variety, and I certainly don't say that boasting that's just was yeah. our situation yeah. we were yeah. in 
So this morning, I asked Mary, did she get the bracelets? And she said, no, I didn't. Well, I just picked up this envelope, <laughs> and here they are. You had me so, doubting that I overlooked them, and I so, didn't think uh, I did. Thank you to Robin, um, and she's from Jasper, and I can't, let's see if I can, Alabama. Uh, I'm trying not to say the last names, but she's from, and this is bracelets that they had made for her little grandson, Colton. And he was, I don't know, probably still is going through a pretty big yeah. sickness. And she had these made, and I think she may have, I don't know if she sold them or what, but she sent all four of us one. Yeah. So thank you very much, Robin. Thank you, Robin. Um, for sending these. Yes. And I hope that and pray that your Colton, little grandson yes. is, is going to be okay. Right. And then I got bookmarks, and this is a little prayer square that um, one of the ladies sent me. Um, Lay this softly upon your palm. Feel God's grace, his love, his calm. Lift your cares and joys in prayer, drawing peace from this little square. May the Lord bless you. Isn't that Isn't sweet? That, that was really sweet. It sure and was. then another lady that um, one of our, and I don't say this lightly either because we are elderly, but one, one of our elderly ladies that follows us um, quite a bit more elderly than we are. She said it had been a long time since she made one of the little Isn't crosses, but she made one for me, and I think it's just that beautiful. Is, it is beautiful. And, and the beautiful color. And then this is a card that I got from Quebec, Quebec um, and I just thought this was just so unique. It's a little, it, is that pewter? I'm not I sure what that pewter. is. I think it's pewter. It's got a I'm little cross sure on is. one side with ornate yeah. script, and then on the back, it's got love. And I think that is just that so is, beautiful. That's beautiful. Linda, that almost looks like the designs that's on uh, um, Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, that's Have what you Linda said. That? Yeah, yeah, it does. It, yeah, it's it beautiful. Like Thank you very beautiful. much, uh, Sylvia from uh, Quebec. Um, so thank you for that. And then um, we have, there's so many letters and um thank you mary well, did you have something else that she's going to show next or i don't know if i do or not but i want to show y'all this last um this was a group of ladies and i actually got two cards i got one from her and then i got one i believe this is the same i'm i hope i don't have this mixed up i got a, a card from their group and it had a Type sheet of every one that was in there, and I may this may be the lady from the, the church. One. Yes, yeah. but this is a prayer pillowcase, and their beautiful? entire church prayed over this pillowcase yeah, for that's me. So heartwarming, and, and it beautiful. touched me so much yeah. that you know you think of a prayer cloth, and we grew up with prayer cloths, right. anointing right. of prayer cloth, and 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 they do it at ladies' conference mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. But I have never seen a prayer pillowcase. Have you? Where they prayed no, over handkerchiefs, a handkerchiefs. I, you know, we have, but I, I don't think. So I have thank a pillowcase. you very much, sweet uh, friends, for sending that to me. And I apologize that I don't have. Um, uh, I had all this fixed, and I'm not. I'm not blaming. Not putting blame <laughs> on my husband, but y'all have to live with him to know. <laughs> Mary's laughing because she knows. I have my little piles of stuff, and he's. Uh, he likes to. He likes to clean, clean up. <laughs> put it away. You don't dare. You, I don't drink Cokes much anymore, but used to. If I laid a Coke down that counter, I, I, you better not lay it down because you turn around and it'd be gone. It'd be in the trash. <laughs> the, um, um, a couple of days ago, I cleaned out this bottom cabinet here because I wanted a place we got new fall product coming out. And I can't put it up until we show it. Mm -hmm. I can't give it away until yeah. we show it. Yeah. So I needed a place to put it because yeah. you can't, you only have so much <laughs> counter space. And um, so I cleaned out this cabinet and I had everything down there and had it all arranged. I come in here and there's stuff stacked all over here. I said, my, what did you do? <laughs> well, I thought it would be better over there than over here. So so he, he done his... Uh, uh, view of the range and stuff and I did mine so then I have to find places and I still hadn't put everything up yet but he's he's a good guy he well at least just, he, uh, he, you got a heifer it might not uh, I'm not complaining <laughs> I'm really not it's just it's kind of funny um y'all y'all probably know what I'm talking about sometimes you have to pick your battles <laughs> yeah. and I don't mean that to be ugly Mike is Mike is really a 
He's he is really he a really lifesaver. Yes, he he does. really does. There's, I was cooking supper the, the other night and, um, I told him I said I can't finish it. You'll have to come in here and finish it. I got, I was I was getting lightheaded and I've never mm. fainted but twice in my life. But I was getting very lightheaded, and I told him I said I can't finish it. You have to come in here. And do you know the times that I fainted? Do you know when it was? Mm. When I got too hot. I was in Mississippi, and it was when we lived in that mobile home behind Sister Jean's on the hill. Mm -hmm. And I was walking down the steps, and you know the steps to a mobile home. If you're if you're in a uneven, mm -hmm. uh, if you're uh, if you're set up on uneven ground, it's high. Right. And I started walking down those steps, and I just tumbled right down. Uh, I was probably I don't know 18 or 19. And then the other time that I fainted was I was. Well, you probably knocked out when you fell off them steps. <laughs> I come to pretty quick, but um, I was in the youth center making peanut brittle. Well, I don't doubt that. Oh my because goodness, y'all! So I've got scars from peanut brittle. Um, it was very hot in there. I can imagine. And I had just come back from the dentist getting a tooth pulled, and y'all know how I hate going to the dentist. Yeah. We had boilers that were, I've got one, but it's way under there. And no, it's not the churches. I bought it at a secondhand store in home Louisiana. But they're huge. They're yeah. like this big. We have them at the church. Yeah. And we had four going at all times. So that means you have to stagger them. And you can constantly stir and constantly pour mm -hmm. up. I lifted those boilers with, and I probably didn't weigh a hundred pounds no, then. You didn't. You was and dining. I was standing there with that hot stove stirring that candy. And whoever was there, I don't know if it was Crystal or if it was Kathy or who it was, yeah. there was somebody there with me. Yeah. I hollered, come in the kitchen. And before I could, I barely got the door open because at that time, the, they got that door blocked off now in the kitchen to go in and out. Okay. But at that time, you could go in and out the kitchen. Okay, yeah. And I, um, Opened the door and just fell out completely on the oh steps. I just completely collapsed because mm. I was so well, it's hot. The heat, yeah. So I, um, I don't. I know when I'm getting too hot, and uh, and so Mike came in and finished supper for me. So yeah, well that was nice. And he's well, that's, he he helps you a lot. Yeah, that's not the, the first time yeah. he's come to my rescue, but um, he laughs and jokes about how many dishes going dirty today, but. He always very he is one graciously the cleans them yeah. up yeah, and cleans does. up the kitchen. So is there anything else we're going to talk about? We're leaving in the we're morning. We're leaving in the morning. Mississippi. We'll keep y'all, take y'all on our little journey, our little trip. And um, just stay tuned. Watch us. So we hope keep, that y'all will enjoy um, um, our little trip. And we're going to see Edward and we're Debbie. We're going to see Edward and Debbie uh, tomorrow afternoon. We'll visit with them a while. And... I have not talked to him to see whether he was going to let us film, film him out there. He might. I don't know. But anyway, we'll we'll keep y'all informed. And, and then I think we got, uh, and then we're having um, lunch tomorrow with someone. Th Friday. 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 Well, no, that's right. Tomorrow's Thursday. Friday we're having lunch with someone and we're going to the cemetery. We're going to the cemetery. Um, I haven't been uh, after Sister Jean's funeral I opted to come on home instead of they wasn't going to do the interment until the next day and I came on home Sunday. So I haven't been to the cemetery since she's been buried and so I got to, I wanted to do flowers and our, um, I got to thinking about we ain't going to have room to yeah. take no flowers. Yeah. So um, I just called and ordered some. So anyway. Um, It'll be And then we'll sad, be going home Saturday. But still lots it of memories. Will. Lots will. of memories. Right. And we'll be going home Saturday. We'll we'll show y'all some pictures of the church and probably won't go in, but we'll yeah. you know, we'll we'll at least show y'all pictures. If you've ever been on forty nine South, you've seen this church. Right. Between Jackson and Florence. <laughs> yeah. So we love y'all. Thank you. Glad to have our full crew here again today. And um, be sure to count your blessings. Yes. Love y'all. Bye bye. bye, -bye.